I've been speaking to Ami Bojang Sisoho, Director of Press and Public Relations at the Office of the President. How would she rate Adam Abaru's recently concluded Meet the People's Tour? I would rate it as a success because it was about reaching out to the people, listening to what they had to say and responding accordingly. Now, when you say you, you, know, you rate it as a success and that the President was reaching out to people, Many people dispute that. They say it was more of a campaign. Well, they have their opinion to that. People have their opinion. You cannot dispute when people have their opinion. But as far as I am concerned, and what I have seen and witnessed, is that he was able to listen to what they had to say, and he responded. And how does that fit in with his announcement to build 60 new mosques? It depends on what the people had to say. And one of the things that was coming up was the need for a mosque in some communities. And they expressed it, and he responded. One of the other things that the president talked about was the diaspora. He had less than complimentary words for them. He called them hate mongers. Was that, in retrospect, a wrong thing to do? I don't think he meant to say they are hate mongers in the context in which you want to interpret it. But those were his very words, weren't they? Yeah, but it depends on how you want to understand what he was in the context he was talking about. That he didn't say every diasporan, he said some. So you have to qualify what he said. Right, so going back to what you say, he said some people in the diaspora are hate mongers. Wasn't that ill-advised? Wasn't that an unfortunate choice of words for people who helped fight to bring him into power? Not everybody who fought necessarily was the ones he was referring to. He just said he, some. So it depends on who wants to take it. You don't want to take it as yours. So I don't think you should make it a problem. So who, who exactly was he referring to, just for clarity's sake? Just as he said, he said some. If you are not part of the song, why should you worry about that? And do you think that this has brought about a disrepute for politics in the country in the sense that when the president makes pronouncements that people came looking for work and they didn't get those jobs, they've gone back and are now bitter at the fact that he didn't give them jobs. First of all, is that the sort of language a president should use? He said some people who came from diaspora came and they were looking for jobs. They didn't have it, and they were not happy with that. And that's what he said. But is that something that he should be saying? I mean, as the president, should he not rise above this kind of rhetoric? Um, that's your opinion. Maybe there was... No, 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 I'm not, I'm not giving an opinion. I'm asking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that he said it because he had a reason to say it. And that's it. So what so was his reason for saying it? It was not, it was not, it, you have to qualify what he was saying. He said some people. So if you are not part of that, why should you be offended? So when you say he had a reason for saying it, what yes. was that reason? Why did he say what he said? Because people are really upset because about it. Because he this. said, that's what I'm saying, he said some people. He said some people. So he didn't say everybody. He said some people. There were some people. That's what he said. So if the purpose of the Meet the People's Tour is for the president to go out and meet the people and listen to their needs and concerns, how come then that that became the issue that he was talking about, those some diasporans you just mentioned? Why did he well, decide to talk about that? He responded to an issue that some people were not happy. So that's what he said. I think what he said, he was very clear about what he said, and uh, everybody who understood what he was talking about knew what he was talking about. So I don't see it as a big issue. He said it, and uh, he responded that it was some people, he said, who were not happy. And he qualified it, that some people who were not happy, and they came to uh, seek for a job, they didn't have it. So if you are not part of that, I don't think that should be a big issue for you, Iso. I think we should be moving with the major issues that were important and they were talking about. All these things are part of the process of communicating. And he was communicating to a group of people 
And in the particular sense, that's not the only issue he's talked about throughout the talk. During the talk, he, he talked about a lot of important things. I think we should be focusing a little bit more on the major things and not try to look for tiny, small issues that he was not referring to the general, but specific, and he qualified what he was saying. Now, I'm afraid you, you do refer to them as tiny, small things, but these are things that offer an insight into the president's thinking. I mean, if he decides to take on a group of people, whether, you know, it's a bunch of people in the diaspora, a handful of them or whatnot, it goes to tell no, you, I mean, it's I almost a... Uh, Iso, I don't want you to twist my words. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to put words into my mouth. You ask a question, I have answered. I think you should move on. Let me ask you this question then, before I move on, because I mean it's important that the Gambian people know this. When the president says certain things, this basically fosters division. I don't think uh, the idea is to foster division. I don't think President Doro is the type who is calling for division. I'm sure you would agree with me that he's always calling for unity, for people to come together, the togetherness of the people. He's always stressing that's true in his statements. So I don't think the idea is to divide people. Rather, he intends for people to be together, to unite and uh, look at our strengths and not our weaknesses. But the end result has been to divide people. That was not the intention. I don't think he intends to divide anybody. Okay, let me ask you another question. He did mention, and again, these are words coming out of the president's own mouth, about a journalist, or journalists, plural, had said to him that he had to pay them money for them to give favorable coverage of him. Now, that's a crime. That's called extortion. Why didn't the president report this to the police? I'm sure you'll have the opportunity to, to ask him that question if you have the opportunity to talk to him. So, you can't tell us why? I don't know why. Now, can you tell us, for example, when it comes to things like health care in the country, okay, you did talk about the president did some positive things on the Meet the People's Tour, but one of the key things that Gambians are talking about at this moment in time is the state of health care. I'm sure you've heard the reports about, you know, sandbags being used to stabilize broken limbs, doctors being issued three gloves a day, emergency supplies missing. Why has it taken the government 18 months to even begin to address this issue? I will refer you back to the government spokesperson to discuss the general government issues. So what was the president's reaction when he went to the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital and um, saw victims of the Faraba shooting, he surely, I'm sure, would have looked around. What did he say or what did he think when he saw those scenes in the hospital? I think this is well over the period we are discussing. He went there, he saw what he saw, he reacted. And really, Iso, I think as far as I'm concerned, is what I want to refer you to is the efforts being made. I know you're looking for, that's a journalistic way of doing it, yeah, to look at what is negative here and there, yes. Yes, we can generally look at some of those things and put them into context. But honestly, the reason why I'm talking to you is to be honest with you in what I am talking about. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to get to small things that are really not important as far as I'm concerned. The issues you want to raise, if you want to discuss the major government issues, Please refer to the right uh, people. Right. Yesterday, the government made public this opinion poll from Gallup, which showed about 73 or so percent of an approval rating for President Barrow. Now, that opinion poll was done in December. Why did the government release it in August? As far as I know, we just got the information on Tuesday. So Gallup gave you the information on Tuesday is what you're saying? We, received, we got that information among our staff members who are doing our monitoring and they came up, they got that information and they brought it out and we used it. Ami Bojang Sisoho, thank you very much for your time. And thank you.